team effort in galley coming today guys so we're tackling the inside skimming out and we've got the main man alan and his gang outside on the line render look who we've got here the man himself the render master <laughs> it's alan what we got here then mate what product we got we've got um three mil pink going on white that's uh, the easy bit though yeah. for me isn't it <laughs> we're uh, we're doing uh, about 15 mil line coat gold corners uh, we just tidied it up pre bag gear isn't it yeah. fill gills gear got to plug fill as well yeah um, yeah and we'll float it in about an hour so this was scratched last week and you bull nose and everything. Yeah, we'll bull nose it round in a minute. I'm not going to show you how to do that. No. We'll <laughs> and look, the still. important question: How do you pronounce your surname? Dave. Because <laughs> <laughs> no one knows. Dave. Just call you the Render Master. Oh, oh, not. <laughs> yeah. And we've got Alex here today from. Where are you from, Alex? Yeah, Manchester. Not Alex. 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 New recruit. <laughs> no, he just wants to learn lime. Fair play. You know what, I've, I've never learnt it, I've been a gypsum man for 21 years and um, I've got no excuses, I need to get on it really because it's, uh, it's a lovely work isn't it? It can be, yeah, lots to go wrong with it, but not with this stuff, it's ideal to learn on this stuff Yeah, yeah Because it's all the, um, the guesswork out of gauges Yeah, yeah You know what I mean? So, um, they mix in and get you right so. And there's no messing about with primers and hose it down and you're straight on Super, but um, you know Alan's work anyway. No flexes. No flexes. Well, you can see two straight edges, two derbies. You, you will see a sponge float if you want to have me on that. Oh my god, hey, look at this. For a bloke that hates sponge floats, that's a big sponge float, Al. Yeah. But it's used properly at the right time on the right yeah, product. Well, it's exposed aggregate finishing once, so we'll yeah. bring all the aggregate out. There's no skim on there. I'll just make sure there's no skim <laughs> he, on there. He cleaned it off before we uh, unloaded the van. The sun's on your side today, mate. Yeah. What do you reckon to it then? The lime? Oh, yeah, no, I, I like it. It's, to be fair, it's just like, weirdly enough, I think it's just like sand cement. It's not, Is it? To be honest, it's, well, I'd just say, this, in my experience, like using UK rain pipe. Like, oh, yeah. But it's uh, a hydraulic, isn't it? It's not. So, yeah, first time, so, see how it goes. I was just said he'd rather do a late one on the sponge <laughs> rendering than an early one skimming. So you don't mind the sponge when it's used correctly. That's it. Anti-clockwise. <laughs> yeah, on the right materials. Right to left. Yeah. If someone was interested in learning this, Al, yeah. what would they... How many hours are you looking at behind the trowel? Is it just a case of if you can do a bit of sand and cement? Could you pick this yeah, up quite yeah. quick? If you could get getting thickness on the wall, uh, so and you cope, you're confident in getting sort of 10, 15 mil of material on there. A lot of people fall short and be too thin. Yeah. Also, correct use of rubber, feather edge, army. You've got that experience. Just take it over into mine. Yeah. Very easy. Just getting used to the setting times yeah. and whatnot. Yeah. And it's a little bit less stressful than sand and cement. Well, I think it is. Yeah. Labour intensive for me. Uh, and it's not as heavy, is it? Getting it on? Uh, or is it's it? Still, it's still heavy. Yeah. Material. But, um, in terms of um, the installation, you're not rushing. No. You're not rushing. You're not chasing your tail, you know, catching cement rendings going up on you and stuff like that. Um, and, and a, a bit of knowledge on suction control if you need to and that's it basically it yeah the problem is with this stuff is if you do get it good wrong it's very costly the material is pretty expensive 
Right. Let's it's not going to be. It doesn't look like it'd be easy to patch up. Uh, for a sponge finish, it's okay. Yeah, it's not yeah. too bad for a sponge finish. Is that it done now, or did you, no, did you give it another pass? No, if you come around here, this one's done. Those back the next coat here. But that, this is done. That's one. finished, is it? Yeah, so just a, a slight exposed. Oh, okay, lovely. Similar to when you. When you Cement to bring the I was going to say it looks a bit like when you rub up sand yeah. and cement. Yeah, it's, it is. Uh, the only bit you've got to be you can just see a little bit of flat, flat spot there. Oh yeah, very similar, you isn't bring it? The, bring the aggregate out. Yeah, yeah. Do you put this, like this the uh, fine sponge on after? No, 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 no. no just yeah. This, once this is set, it'll be pretty solid. Yeah, yeah. So it'll still be a soft material, but you know all this grain won't move anywhere. So. Superb. And then we're just waiting, just waiting on this one to, to have the first float across it. It's obviously untidy, so just needs that one more pass. Yeah, you have got to need yeah. it to go off a little bit more. And then yeah, yeah. Down. And then when you roll your corners round, your knife back ready to float into your next one. That is amazing. Too much aggregate on show at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for watching this video guys, hope you've enjoyed it. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so, we'd really appreciate it. See you on the next video.